Suriname's multicultural society comes to its fore in Paramaribo's nightlife. The wide and varied choice of local and international restaurants reflects this melting pot of all the different communities in Suriname. Paramaribo laughs, sparkles and swings the night away at its sidewalk cafes in its casinos, bars and discotheques. In 1958, Nagel was commissioned to draw up plans for a hotel. Building began in 1960. On the 10th of July 1962, Hotel and Casino Torarica, bespeaking a luxury as yet unseen in Suriname, was inaugurated by the Dutch Princess Irene. Without exception, visiting dignitaries always stay at the Torarica, the perfect place for a luxury holiday with the opportunity to discover the tropical rainforest. Tararica's Royal Conference Hall regularly hosts national and international meetings, conferences, weddings and other social events. With the brand new Royal Tararica, Paramaribo now has a hotel on a five-star level for the first time in its history. Paramaribo is the capital and the administrative center of Suriname. Besides being the seat of the government, all the major national and international organizations also have their offices here. Since 1995, Suriname has been part of CARICOM. CARICOM stands for Caribbean Community. The name says it all. There's a free market of goods and services within the trading zone of the members of CARICOM. And people can also travel freely within this trading zone. Suriname's membership has made it even more attractive for companies that operate on an international basis. An excellent example of one such international company is the RBTT Bank that we mentioned before. It has branches in more than 10 countries in the Caribbean, serving both the corporate world as well as the private individual. Suriname's soil is extremely rich in raw materials. The exploitation of these mineral resources lies at the heart of the Surinamese economy. The state oil company Suriname manages the oil reserves. This 100% government-owned company was set up in 1980. According to the prestigious United States Geological Survey, Suriname has a huge oil reserve of billions of barrels under its seabed. Agreements have already been signed for the exploration of more oil fields with American, Danish and Spanish oil companies, while international interest continues to grow. State oil's products are supplied to both the local and the regional market. It also refuels large ships when in port, known as bunkering. And in 2005, production began of electricity for the local market. The state oil company Suriname plays a leading role in the long-term development of the petroleum industry and makes an important financial contribution to many social urban projects. Another international company that has set up in Suriname is the I Am Gold Corporation. At present, it's 10th on the list of the world's largest gold producers. Its operations, Rosebell Gold Mines, are located at Gross Rosebell in the district of Brocopondo. Not only does their ISO 14001 certificate endorse the responsibility they feel towards nature, it also obliges them to set aside a part of their profits, for instance, for reforestation. I Am Gold extracts gold in a responsible manner, thus ensuring that we can continue to give our loved ones the cherished gift of gold long into the future. The Surinamese are aware of the enormous potential of the tropical rainforest. They try to achieve the right balance between the exploitation of mineral resources, conservation and ecotourism. Nowadays, once you've landed at Paramaribo's airport, there's basically nowhere that you can't get to in the interior. Various airlines fly charter services there. With a tour operator, it's easy to book a trip by plane, bus or boat, or a combination of the three into the interior. For instance, with METS Travel and Tours, who can take you to Awaradam or Palumei, and can also help you in determining where you'd like to go. The main thing is that you plan your trip properly and take along the right essentials. We recommend that you first contact the BOG, the Public Health Office, 
as to what medical precautions should be taken, for instance, against mosquitoes. A good tip is to wear enough clothing and rub yourself well in. You can also follow the native ceremonies as custom and make use of the medicinal properties of flowers, plants and trees. However, it's best to be properly informed before you do it. Local arts and crafts are to be found everywhere. Local wood carvings are especially sought after. In Paramaribo, its surrounding district, and in the coastal region, you can drink the tap water. If you're in the interior, you're advised to boil river water first or drink bottled water like Para Springs. Natural sources spring up in the mountains and at waterfalls that are extremely pure, and these are used as the basis for this Surinamese bottled mineral water. Should you require more information about trips into the interior, the tour operators are more than willing to help you, and information is always available in the lobby of your hotel. In a few minutes, we'll be landing at the Johann Adolf Pengel International Airport, or Zanderai, as most people in Suriname call it. Zanderai is an hour's drive from Parimaribo. As you walk down the aircraft steps, the tropical heat will give you a warm welcome in more ways than one. The arrivals hall is air-conditioned, so don't pack away your jacket yet. You should have your immigration form ready when you pass through customs, since both your passport and immigration form will be controlled. And should you be staying longer than four weeks, don't forget to report to the aliens office in Paramaribo for the necessary papers. The driver who will take you to your hotel will be waiting for you outside the terminal building. There are also taxis and taxi buses available. Remember, taxis over here don't have meters, so establish the fare first. Besides the fact that they drive on the left in Suriname, there are other traffic regulations that differ from those at home. If you plan to hire a car, remember there are few roadsides in Suriname, and traffic signs are likewise thin on the ground, so don't be afraid to ask the way. The General Emergency Services number is 115, which will put you through directly to the emergency room. The official currency in Suriname is the Surinamese dollar, although some places do accept euros and American dollars. You can get Surinamese dollars from RBTT cash dispensers using your regular cash card. In the bank itself, you can also withdraw euros and US dollars, exchange money, or handle your more personal transactions. Shops where you can use your bank card either have a sticker on the window or at the cash till or the checkout. If you're still not sure, it's advisable to check whether you actually can use it beforehand. However, it's not everywhere that they take credit cards. The official language of Suriname is Dutch, which basically everyone speaks along with English. Tsunami, Javanese, Portuguese and Chinese are also spoken to a limited extent. Since the various population groups also speak their own language, the social language in Suriname is Sranang Tongo. Whatever you've come to do in Suriname, whether it's business or pleasure, the Surinamese will make sure that your visit is one you'll always fondly remember. In fact, they're already looking forward to saying to you, Konhesi Baka. Welcome back. Nice to see you again.